Hey, howdy, hey, y'all. Leanna here. Today we're going to be trying out this e.l.f. Camo Powdered Foundation. For those of you that have been with me for a while, you know that I absolutely love my powdered foundations, and most people will tell you that powdered foundation is not good for mature skin. If you're new, I'm 57 years old, and I have a lot of fine lines and wrinkles and texture on my face, but I still love my powdered foundations. So this is a new product from e.l.f. We're going to try it out and see how it performs on my mature skin. So before we get into the foundation, I'm going to prime like I normally would, and I'm going to use the e.l.f. Mint Melt Cooling Face Primer. I'm only going to prime half my face because this is supposed to be primer infused, but I want to see what the difference is between actually priming your face and not priming. So this side of my face is actually more textured than the right side of my face. So I'm only going to prime the right side. This is a really nice primer. It seems to be very gripping. I don't know if it's comparable to the Milk Hydro Grip because I've never used that. But it is very gripping to me. See, it's already gripping my hair. <laughs> and I just put a little bit on the back of my hand so that I could tap it on my face. I'm also going to put a little bit of this Becca Anti-Fatigue Primer under my eyes because I don't normally wear concealer. I normally just put my foundation all the way up under my eyes. Lightly, but still. The other thing that I normally do is I normally set my face with setting powder before I start to apply any type of foundation, whether it's powder or liquid, because it just seems to set that foundation in from the underside, like it helps it to really adhere to my face, and it just lasts longer throughout the day. So I'm just going to use my Fenty Pro Filter Lavender Setting Powder that I normally use because I know that this works really well for me in a big fluffy brush. And I put it in this bowl because it's just easier to get the powder on my brush. It's just a little Dollar Tree bowl so that I can lightly, I don't like to put a lot, just lightly put the powder on my face. And now, let's take this puppy out of the box. I got Light 240W, which I'm pretty sure that the W stands for warm. Here's what the packaging looks like. And hopefully now Elf is going to put the glare. It's very sunny outside. I wanted to do this in natural light so y'all could really see. Uh, hopefully they're putting the information on all of their packaging now because if any of you are familiar with them they had a tendency before not to put the information on the packaging so you didn't really know what your what was in your product it has a mirror hi and here's what the product looks like goodness that glare is really something let me put it up here and see if that makes a difference it does not. It also lifts up and on the inside there's a little powder puff which I will not be using. I do not like to use those. They spread the product around really nice and give you I think fuller coverage but it uses up so much of your product on the sponge and I just think that's a waste so I'm going to use my brush. I'm going to use my BK Beauty 101. It's a foundation brush. Most people use this strictly for their liquid foundation, but I find that it works really, really well with my powder foundation. So I'm just going to tap it in there and get some on. And then 
Hopefully this is a good color for me. And I feel like that the light is still too bright. Let me turn it down. Okay, I think that's better. I'm used to cutting that up really, really strong at night. My hair is still in the way. This is supposed to give you medium to full coverage. It's supposed to be buildable. I know that e.l.f. is cruelty free. This is supposed to be good for all skin types, even if you have oily skin. Now I do have some dry patches on my nose because my allergies have just been crazy and I spent all day yesterday literally <laughs> wiping my nose so the, the skin around my nose is a little irritated and of course any powdered foundation is going to catch on that but I normally can fix that with my setting spray so I'm not concerned about that. It seems to be covering fairly well. I mean if you see that little blood vessel right there it has it has covered that pretty good. It does seem to be just a little more powder, powdery than some of my other foundations, powder foundation. And you see me taking it pretty good up under my eyes and it is showing the texture and fine lines under my eyes. But again, that is something that I normally correct with my setting spray. And I'll show you how I do that. And it is collecting around my eyebrows too, but I, I normally get rid of that as well. I don't like, I know that some people don't run that over their eyebrows, but I don't like, sometimes I can see like a line where my foundation stops there at my eyebrow, so I like to just get it as close as possible and then I just do a little correcting and clean up. Okay, so this is how it looks so far. I do not normally do full coverage. I'm sure that if you kept adding that it would keep building. The e.l.f. website says that it is buildable, uh, that it's long wear buildable formula with medium to full coverage, natural to semi-matte finish. Um, non-comedogenic, cruelty-free, it doesn't have any talc, which is amazing, phylates, parabens, that there's a whole list of all of the bad juju things that it does not have. So I'm going to wet my beauty sponge and grab my setting spray and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have a fresh, clean, brand new beauty sponge. And I'm going to use my MAC Fix Plus that I got in my AIA Beauty Bundle. I've used this before, but I've ran out, and so this is a new bottle. So... And yes, I do this before I put on my bronzer and I put a little bit of that in my hand and put it on my beauty sponge and then I just kind of fan a little bit and then I go in and tap it all down. This will set the powder down and keep it from looking dry. It just like melts it right into your skin. And as you can see, it's not really coming off.
on my beauty sponge and I don't know I mean it looks just as good to me as my powdered foundations normally look but the side that I put the primer on looks a little bit more cakey than the side that I did not put primer on so I think that it looks better without the primer. I don't know if you can see like right in here on this side you can see it looks like that the foundation is sitting on top of my skin like the primer kept it from actually blending in. I don't know if that's showing up or making any sense. It looks that way on my nose too but like I said, my nose is really dry because of my allergies. I don't know if you can see all the redness here from where the skin has been flaking off. But So, now that y'all have been up close and personal to all of my amazing imperfections, I think it looks fine, but I like a more natural look I do not like super full coverage foundation I like for my skin to look as natural as possible for me this just evens out the skin tone and that's the way I like it so so I'm going to put on some bronzer and some blush and do my makeup and I will do a wear test and I will check back in with y'all in a little while. Okay, so here we are for our check-in. I have all the rest of my makeup on. And it was 2, 3 o'clock when I originally put this foundation on. As you can see, it is 11.48 p.m. It's time for me to go to bed. <laughs> I need to take this makeup off and go to bed. I have to go to work tomorrow. And this is what it's looking like. Let me grab my mirror so I can look at it with you. I look shiny. Of course, I have oily skin, so I do look kind of shiny and I have not done anything to it. I have not touched it up or anything. The side that I did not prime looks better to me than the prime side. It has settled a little and the fine lines, not too much. But I think the most notable thing about it is that you can really see the oils. But now, I didn't do any touch-up. Of course, it said on their website that it was oil control. And obviously... <laughs> It's not a lot of oil control. But I think I still think it held up well. And I have had it on for a long time. It would definitely last me an eight hour day at work. So I don't know. I mean it's winter time. Now it was like 70 degrees here today. That's why I have on a sleeveless shirt. So but I don't know how well this would do for me with oily skin in the summertime. But when it's really warm outside, I will just wear bronzer and blush and not even worry about the foundation. So, so that's the e.l.f. Camo Powder Foundation. I like my powdered foundations and you can see that it does not, for me at least, it does not accentuate 
the fine lines and wrinkles any more so than a liquid foundation does. If you enjoyed this video, show the like button some love. It really does help out my channel. And as always, I'd like to remind you that makeup is meant to enhance the natural beauty that you already are. And we are all beautiful at any age. Find something to be grateful for today. Pull your makeup out and play with it. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye-bye. Christopher. Camo. Conceal not concealer. Camo foundation. Do you know what that means? Camouflage. So, if you put this on, when you go fishing, the fish won't see you. You'll be camouflaged. You might want to add, like, I don't know, something green to it. You know, just give you a little bit of a green tint. Because, you know, most fish got some green in them. So, you'll just be green camouflaged, hidden from the fish. That way you can stalk them. Okay? That's your beauty tip. Mama loves you, boo.